World Horse Welfare is an international charity based in the UK that operates throughout the world. Their objective is to increase the welfare of working horses globally through education and support and to work towards a world where equines are treated with respect and kindness. Danilo Rodriguez has worked with the organization to help establish several projects across Latin America and in 2016 played a role in pioneering a new program in Oaxaca, Mexico. Well, Mexico is the largest country in Latin America in terms of equine population. Uh, it's an area that uh, has a lot of uh, history in terms of the use of working equines in agriculture, in all, in all the different aspects of Mexican society. Especially Oaxaca is uh, a state within Mexico that has a lot of um, issues with uh, how they use the horses. Um, owners uh, don't feel comfortable working around horses. They tend to have um, a certain element of fear. And they also have issues in terms of problems, equine health problems. They also have issues in terms of um, hoof issues, uh, hoof problems. And, and, and it's because of, uh, they don't know what are, what are the basic concepts of you know, proper equine uh, husbandry. We traveled to the southern state to learn more about the project in Mexico. <laughs> Dr. Enoch is a local vet and the project coordinator. He plays a crucial role in communication between the charity and the equine owners. In Oaxaca, para este, digamos, in Oaxaca, we have some issues to include in the project in each community. And one of them is that the horses' owners don't usually like new people who arrive in their communities. Another issue is that they have transmitted their knowledge generation after generation. And it can be challenging to convince them to apply changes with new things that we can teach them. However, after we practiced with the horses, they noticed an improvement, and since then, they have started to upset the objectives of our project. A half-hour drive from Oaxaca City lies the Etla district, where horses are used for transporting cattle feed from the fields to neighboring farms. Dr. Enoch has been working with local farmer Jorge Enrique to help with the behavior and care of his working equines. On the day we visited, one horse was showing signs of dehydration, and the team felt the need to administer a drip to put fluids back into its body. Jorge Enrique had also been experiencing handling issues, which Dr. Enoch advised on, as well as treating an open wound on its back. Well, we find this problem often, and it is due to several reasons. One reason can be the lack of hygiene, as the horse has to be bathed daily. A second reason might be that the saddle may not have been made correctly, as they are wider in the back part and tighter in the front section. The shadow should, somehow, be able to divide the weight in a balanced way to prevent causing friction with the horse's back and problems similar to this one. It is important because sometimes we don't know how to look after the horses properly. So the more knowledge and advice they provide us with, the better. I have noticed a significant improvement, for example, the horses are less stressed, they work better than before, and it's also better for me that they are healthy. The charity has identified that alongside Dr. Enoch, the most receptive teaching method for owners is to have local people implementing the changes. The team trained a number of community-based equine advisors in all aspects of horse welfare who can then return to their villages and share their knowledge. We have learned different things during the modules. I really like the part related to horse showing, but animal ethology is an essential skill, and it's a crucial part of what we have learned, because it gives us confidence as farriers, as vets, 
and as owners. Another vital part of the project is the partnership that World Horse Welfare established at the beginning of the programme with the Oaxaca University. World Horse Welfare works in tandem and in cooperation with local organisations in, inside each country. Um, we are facilitators of the, of the activities to promote equine welfare, but the local organisations are the ones in charge of implementing that activity. Dr. Villegas is one of our main stakeholders. Um, he is the person responsible for the equine welfare project within the University of Oaxaca. He has been very open to implement the project here in the, here in the state. Treating animals differently has helped these communities to gain a greater development. Not only from an economic point of view, but people feel a lot more comfortable while carrying out the different tasks in the field as well as treating their animals better. The university has the only veterinary faculty in the state and many students come from the nearby rural communities. What they learn in these subjects is precisely the respect towards animals and respect towards life. Because the fact that they can't speak does not mean that they can't feel. And it's easier to be able to carry out an activity with an animal if you treat it well than if you treat it without care. Since we've begun the project, we have had the participation of at least two best students per year that they do a, an internship within the program, and they actively help Dr. Inok with the activities of the project. So, he ha so Dr. Villegas has been instrumental in setting all that up for us yeah, here in Oaxaca. Later in the year, we look forward to returning to Mexico with Danilo and Dr. Enoch to see how farriery training is helping equine welfare in the Santiago Apostle District of Oaxaca.